What's happening, man? We is live. We is live. We live. We live. We live. Happy, What's going on? Happy Turkey Day to all you people out there. Happy Turkey Day. Yeah. Happy Turkey Day to y'all. This is a special holiday for me and Pong because we love to eat. <laughs> yeah. Y'all ain't the only ones, nigga. Me and Pun love <laughs> I love to eat too, nigga. Hey, no, man. Listen, this is me and Pun's special holiday. <laughs> yeah, stop, throwing, stop, throwing, stop throwing me in this shit. This is me and Pun's <laughs> special holiday. Special holiday. Hey. Green peas, tomatoes, man, man, man. <laughs> it's that energy today, man. Uh, that shit fire. What yeah. I always say, my mama, 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 my Chicken! <laughs> I might need to go to get a plate. Hey, hey. listen. Moms, I need a plate. That should sound fine. Man. She's expecting she, you. Do she, she, do she be baking too? Yes. She hey. makes cakes and pies and all that? She makes everything. You gotta make the cakes. And then and my look, my mama do my mama does one thing, right? What's the what's your favorite cake she makes? <sighs> Our favorite pie. Which one? Her sweet potato pie is fine. Sweet potato pies. Her banana mm -hmm. pudding too is Ooh, crazy. Oh, banana pudding! But look, my 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 dad's mom, she's famous in the Harlem's. You know what I'm saying? For coffee cake. Coffee cake. Mm -hmm. Nigga, her coffee cake is crazy. And my aunt Donnie, she know how to make that coffee cake too, though. Hey, rest in peace, my granny. Her carrot cake and German chocolate. Mm. Damn, it's crazy. I ain't, I ain't had German chocolate cake in, in a minute. Yeah. German chocolate cake is like a lost art. You don't that see that is. Lot. You don't no. see that no more. No, Nigga, and I, re I remember she used to have us, like when I used to spend the night, she used to have us prep for shit. And I'm like, why am I cutting up carrots and all kind of stuff? Not knowing that's what goes into the cake and shit. The yeah. coconuts and yeah. everything else go in the cake like wow. from scratch. Like, man, I miss my granny. Rest in peace, my granny, man. man and then I, my pop, I miss my, mine too, my man. pops was a cold baker, too. My pops was a chef, by the way. So he was a cold baker, too, man. I miss that nigga sweet potato pie. Facts, facts. Yeah, I got, uh, my auntie make peanut butter cake. You ever had peanut, peanut butter cake? Peanut butter cake. I ain't never cake. had peanut butter cake. Yeah. Peanut butter cake. Wait, what is peanut butter cake? So it's like, nigga, it's cake, but she make it with peanut butter. It's three layers. It's just peanut butter, but she use, like, different, depending on. She's is it peanuts, like, in it? Like, no, peanut with, butter. Just, just peanut, peanut butter. butter. Okay. Yeah. So it's a cake with peanut butter icing. And it's like sweet. With, it's like sweet peanut butter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man. Uh oh You know what my mom used to do to make peanut butter sweeter? What? When I was little and shit, she would take the peanut butter and then put syrup. And put syrup in there and sweet it and make it soft and oh, sweet. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What does she put in there? Syrup. Syrup. No, no, no. To make what? To make the peanut butter sweeter. To like make it smoother For and sweeter. For what? For to peanut make it butter smoother. and jelly make sandwiches? It smoother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you had sweeter peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Like, like the, little, the, little, like the, the, cons fire like the consistency yeah. of the peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? You know how thick, pause, you know how thick yeah, the peanut butter is. You know, it's to make it make it smoother to, you know, to spread across the bread and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, a lot of people from the old school do that. Yeah, man. There's a lot of like... Uh, Little hacks. Yeah. Yeah. But, like you said, the German chocolate cake, that's a lost art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like now, like my grandma, she used to make grits. She used to put eggs... And cheese in her grits. Everybody don't know how to make grits, man. No. Mm -hmm. And grits is like like and rice. Everybody I, don't know how to make rice. I, rice is easy as hell. I hate watery fucking grits. grits. Oh, yeah. I, hate, I that hate, right. hate that shit. Right. I hate that shit. That like, shit Ugh. is, I'm like, Ugh. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather take the super thick ass grits than the watery grits. Did y'all used to um eat cream or wheat? Hell no. I used no. to love cream no. or wheat. Cream or wheat. I, I, cream I used wheat. to love cream or nah, wheat. Give me, give me grits. Give me grits Ooh. or give me oatmeal. Cracker also, yeah, like right, like cream of wheat. Like my my kids eat that shit now. They made some the other day. Oatmeal? No, nah, they made cream oh, of wheat. Oatmeal. Yeah, I like I like oatmeal. Wait, I like let oatmeal. me tell you something. As a kid, you know they you used to have them oatmeal packets. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, cinnamon got... ones used to be busted. But the motherfucking I I had so much oatmeal as a kid that it just fucked my mind up. Oatmeal was yeah. bomb, nigga. No, it, it was, was but bro, yeah, like once bomb. you have it every day for like. Ten years, oh, people like I don't nah. want to eat oatmeal for breakfast. No, nah, more. I eat that shit just to put some on my stomach. Like if I have a busy day, I know I got a lot of running around to do. I know I ain't gonna have a chance to really eat like that. I eat oh. some oatmeal because that shit'll hold you. It'll hold but, you. Yeah, oh. but you I know, I haven't had oatmeal in years. Yep. No, nah, I still I, I still do that. Strawberries and, strawberries and cream oatmeal. I'm a I'm a, I'm a maple and brown Damn. sugar dude myself. Maple and brown yeah. sugar is busted. Yeah, I haven't had oatmeal maybe 
six, seven years? Damn. Yeah, all, all that new shit now that come in a box, they got flavors and shit. But I'm yeah. from the old school, and it was just a large tube. Of yeah, flavors. yeah, yeah. Same here. Yeah, same yeah, here. Yeah. You got to put that shit. I remember in the box. that. Yeah, put that, put that shit. The, in the box. Was it the the blue nigga on the fucking thing? Yeah. The yeah. Nigga, Quaker Oats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Bill uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln and Bill Washington, <laughs> <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> he said Bill Washington. <laughs> Wait, did y'all fuck with a uh, hot water cornbread? Uh, my aunties make that on New Year's Eve. Sometimes, but uh, I used to eat day. that shit and used to be like, that shit plain, but you used to have to eat that shit with like greens and shit like that. I didn't eat greens coming up. Yeah, I, I started eating that shit once I got older. I love greens. I started eating it once I got older. Chilling. But I can't eat everybody I greens. Had, that's one thing I would not eat. I never had a chillin's won't. Oh, uh, shit. My pops used to. My, you got to understand, my pops from the country because so yeah, he from Arkansas, family. so. They used to, my every New Year's Eve, Ooh. my pops cooking tubs of that shit. Oh. Like his whole his yeah, whole kitchen, stank. his whole kitchen used to have buckets because he used to cook that shit for hey, people. The buckets like the dish detergent. Used to yeah, do. man. Yep. The uh, soap detergent for yep. the washing clothes. Nigga, that shit stinks. You, you don't remember yeah. that, Erica? No. When yeah. the wash detergent was in a big, big bucket. Big, in a big bucket, you got the, <laughs> it has a handle on it. Has a handle, girl. It was all powder. It, you know, with no Tide Pods. Yeah, yeah. No Tide Pods and shit like that. Like, now, no, 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 I'm trying to think. Do I remember that? You remember that shit? Your granny had that shit. Cause yeah, because. For that's, sure that's she did. I was a kid, so you have to be a, like, young. Kid. Yeah, nigga, your granny yeah. had that shit. Your mom knows for sure. Yeah. This, nigga, it's so much, it's so much shit. Like, that's how we had the tubs at the house. Yeah. yeah. We used to use the wash cars and shit, because yep. tubs, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to, like, picture that shit. Do I remember that? Yeah. So while we in this room, man, can we all uh, say what we thankful for this holiday uh, that's holiday a, season? That's good, man. I, I like that, ho. Okay, yeah. off. I'm going to kick it off then, man. I'm thankful. Boo! I'm thankful for y'all for putting me in this space, man. It's been a wonderful year for me, man. It's, oh, been, man. it's been different. I've never seen this type of shit coming, man. So I appreciate y'all, my brothers, for you know bringing me in, having me here every week. And then me starting my own channel and then being a part of the whole network and on a sports show to yeah. kick off every week. So man, I appreciate y'all. That's man. like that's like a big blessing, man. Fire. That's fire, man. I like that. I like that. You appreciate I, that. I, I love to watch you uh blossoming and shit, bro. Yeah, yeah. And and you know, me and your uh, nephew was like right hand men. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was my that was my my day one. And it was like the fact that, you know what I'm saying, you the you the big homie. Mm -hmm. The fact that I'm able to uh Spend time with you week after week, and it's on some positivity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That, yeah, that's yeah. that's that's dope as fuck to me, man. You don't see right. that, you don't see that a lot with little homie. Nah. Right. Right. You know what I mean, yeah. 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 So that's dope, man. Um, shit, man. I'm thankful for everything, man. I'm thankful for all this shit. Um, thankful for everybody, like just being, being uh committed to this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? More than anything, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, this is all a. Uh, it's a dream, and we all trying to make this shit come to life. It's still a lot of work to be done. You know what I'm saying? So it's dope seeing the homies come along and and understand the vision and, and add their two cents to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right. you know, right now it's like it's, we see what it's gonna be. We know what it's gonna be, mm -hmm. but it's like it take it take a village, man. Like we all got to come together and do this shit. And um, you know, I, I love seeing this shit, man. I love seeing like. People who was once who I was like, damn nigga, I wish I could help him, and now I can help him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're fat. I thought, fat. Yeah. All it takes is personality to get in here, and then people gravitate to that personality. Yeah, but even but it take it take more than personality though. Takes more. Take, the personality gets you in here though, and then you got to you know. But it's also consistency. Yeah, that too. Consistency and because loyalty. Yeah. These yeah, loyalty for sure. Because the, in some of these days, man, I promise you, we be like, ah, uh, it's, it's hard to film. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. we people, we go through shit too. So, like, mentally, like, sometimes niggas be like, damn, I don't feel like filming today. But that's that dedication where it's like, nigga, no matter what, nigga, it's Thanksgiving. Nigga, we nigga, right I, here I filming. I was just about to you. say, you know nigga, we like, here at Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know nigga, what I'm we here. You know what I'm saying? Just to give y'all something because like, we know that some of y'all really, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just latch on to that. And when we miss, you feel let down. So, nigga, don't want to. Let y'all down at the end of the day. And you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, and I would say, man, especially this year, I'm thankful for life in general. You feel me? There's a yeah. lot of people who didn't make it this year already. There's a lot of people who um don't have their families. It's a lot of people that are going through a lot of stuff, and especially how the economy is right now. Nigga, a lot of people mentally are going through a lot. It's 
So I'm just happy, bro, for us to have life. You know what I'm saying? To have people that support us. And um, yeah, looking forward to the new year. You know looking what I'm forward to it, yeah. man. Yeah. Yes, it's gonna be a great year, man. And I, thank you for everybody that watches us, man. I don't give a fuck whether you watch us live. You know what I'm saying? You click on that shit later on. It's nothing but love for y'all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up. Everything man. counts, man. Sound like a hoe, All the support counts. Man, man. Hey, I sound like a hoe thinking the support. Like All right, fuck it. <laughs> You always gotta make shit soft as hell, cuz. That's cool. God damn. If that's listen, that's me. I like to get sentimental with the people. I mean, I, I never like to get but I beat your like ass. Have period. you ever heard gratitude sound hard as fuck though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? You don't make gratitude sound hard. I, I, I say, I'm like, oh, like, man, shout out oh, to everybody, cuz. Oh, like yeah. oh, shout out oh, to everybody, cuz. Shout out to everybody. I think AD was like, man, I just really feel the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. Love you guys. And I just really passionate. Want you, yeah, you know, I mean that, passionate. though. Passionate. No, he, I mean he's, that, he's, though. He's fucking faking, cuz. How am I faking? I call bullshit. Why do you call bullshit? Nigga. Why? I call bullshit. Why? I mean, you mean it, but you don't got to cut on that voice to say it, cuz. Nigga, this is, I've been like this forever. Hova tell you. Yeah. You've known me. You don't hey, he the president, voice, cuz. Bro. He gotta be political. That's why they call me the president. Be political, Who man. call you the president? Well, I don't call you the president. Real, we no, call him president. We call, oh, him, we call him president in the hood. He, Bitch, he you Obama. call me the president, too. He A.D. Oh, Obama. They call me Obama. <laughs> he A.D. Obama. For Refer sure. Refer to me as Obama. Go no, you know, you know, all presidents are fake, right? Yeah. What you mean? They, they gotta fake their, their shit. Hey, man, vote for me, and I'll make sure everybody's free. Well, not me. <laughs> President, <laughs> <laughs> not that political. Nah, 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 nah. Got yeah. cut. No, but hey. the homies, the homies really call me Obama though. Yeah. That's cool. Give me a water, man. Speaking, speaking of bullshit, two though, please, man. Two please. Speaking of bullshit, man. Y'all see all this bullshit going on in the media with all these uh, sexual assaults going Bro, on I in New York. I was just gonna bring that. No, fuck New York. Look, watch this. It's got, crazy. They got that shit in California now too. Oh, that shit damn. is bad. Yeah, they try to get it cracking. Hold on, let's pull this shit up right now. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just Shout accusers. out to Lawrence for hires, too. It's just accusers. You know, they got to... Mm-hmm. Ah, man, this fucking stream deck. Hold on, I've been having problems with this shit. One second, one second. Let me see if I can pull this shit up real quick. This shit has been bothering me. Let me see. Uh, Okay. Why you close the whole window to do that? No, no, because this shit has been really tripping. Hold on, one second, one second, y'all, one second. You just gotta reset it. Cause you're doing them at my, uh, the last stream was at my studio. That's why, right? Nope. Ah, oh, no, no, cut that off. Mm. Last stream was at my studio, that's why I said that. I fixed it, I fixed it. I do miss that intro, by the way. You said it closed the whole window to that, fool. I fixed it. All right, we good now. We good, hold on, here we go. So look, here we go. Laura's for workers, look at this shit. Every single man on this list has been sued for sexual assault. Now, what you probably don't know, all of these lawsuits were filed in New York. All of these lawsuits were filed last week, last couple of days. And all of these lawsuits involve very old claims. In the case of Mayor Eric Adams, you're talking about a woman claiming sexual assault from 1983. That's before I was born, more than 30 years ago. Oh, man. There's time That's limits to filing ago. lawsuits, right? You can't just wait forever. How are these people able to file such old lawsuits against these guys? Well, what's going on here is the Adult Victim Survivors Act. The New York State Legislature passed a law that said that if you're a victim of sexual assault and you never filed a claim because you were scared, because you were this, because you were that, and now it's too late, well, we're going to open up a one-year window from November 22nd, 2022 to today, November 23rd, 2023. Today is the last day within this Adult Victim Survivors Act window to file a lawsuit. And what you have happened in these sexual assault cases probably what happened in the Diddy case. People don't file the lawsuit immediately. First, they call you and they say, hey, do you wanna pay me to settle this lawsuit? Because if you don't, I'm gonna file it and then it's gonna go public. So before they go public with it, they use that leverage of keeping it confidential, keeping it out of the public eye to try to settle. Now, if the celebrity defendant, whoever it is on the other side, doesn't care and they say, no, I'm not settling, you go file, then you go file. So in this case, the deadline to file these old claims was today. So they kind of waited and they were trying to negotiate, keep that leverage of keeping it confidential. And then eventually when you don't get that settlement, you go ahead and you file that lawsuit. Interesting, in the Diddy case, 
they would have probably been doing that. I don't know, but I'm guessing they would have probably been negotiating with Diddy. He's like, nah, 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 I'm not going to do it. Then it went public, and the next day he settles to me. I don't know this, but it suggests that he miscalculated. It suggests that he didn't realize what it was going to look like in the light of day. And when he saw it, he was like, yo, run that settlement back. Every single man, man on this. That's wild. Told you, though. That Jimmy nigga did Iveen, that shit. Cuban Gooding Jr., Harv Pierre, Jamie Foxx, Axel Rose, Bill Cosby again, Terry Richardson, Marcellus Wiley, and NYC Mayor Eric Adams. Yeah, just because I, uh, I don't mean it's true, though. No, no, 100%. But I'm like, my nigga, this shit is, this shit is out of pocket now. 40 years ago, my nigga? This is out of pocket now. Now, I do listen. If somebody, if somebody really was a victim of sexual assault and they felt like they didn't have no voice, by all means. But this shit is getting out of hand, though. It ain't getting out of hand. It's, it's been happening. People been filing yeah. sexual assault cases. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like with this shit going on, it's making a, it's making press because it's this whole deadline shit. So like they throwing them all out there just at to, one at one point just at to one show you how many people are getting like like that, what, that shit happens every day, bro. What's, what's crazy is though how all this shit hit all of a sudden yesterday after Trey Songs was acquitted acquitted for all his mm -hmm. shit, and then yep. all these hit boom right on top. So it it, it really overrided his news. You know what I'm saying? Because he's he looking crazy out here. But a federal he, judge threw that hit, shit out too, and he and he beating shit, and then this shit hit. But like like. Pun said, like, like you said, like, if you a victim, you know, by all means, handle your business. Yeah, but yeah. 40 years ago, you should have said something within a year, two years, five See, years. See, but I, but I say this, though, right? It wasn't right. no, there wasn't no, um, I would say, outlets 30, 40 years ago for someone to be heard. It don't have I to be no like outlets. This is, this is all civil. You could have went to the courts. You could have went to... This is not this is not to let your voice be heard. You want some chili. No, to get your chili, but I'm just saying, I feel like the especially the media was controlled more back then. So even if they did come out, motherfuckers wouldn't even take them serious. Yeah, back that then. shit wouldn't make the newspaper. Huh? It wouldn't have made nothing. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I mean, they gotta, swept, it's, it's only two outlets, the newspaper and the news. They would have swept that <laughs> shit under the rug. That newspaper shit was crazy. Right. The internet opened the door now where you you can't stop somebody's voice. Somebody yeah. can can put out something tomorrow and that shit will spread like wildfire. That's true, but damn, 40 years? What you been doing this whole 40 years? But just, just... But, but just imagine 40 years ago, something happened to you and nigga, it's so traumatic. You thinking about that shit every fucking day. Year yeah, after I gotta, year yeah. after year You're right, year you're right, you're right. Year. because it's, if it's rape, then that's something different, bro. Come like on. If it's rape, you never going to forget that. No. But if it's somebody slapping your ass or something like that, like you'll forget, you know, if you, especially <laughs> if you in a club or something back bro. in those days, you probably high, having a good time, and nigga touch your ass, and you be like, man, who's that bum ass nigga? And that nigga end up being the mayor, uh, the mayor 40 years later. Uh -huh. And now you be like, oh, I remember that nigga. He touched my ass at this club. And then, too, those drugs that they was doing back then. Man, it was crazy. They was on some other shit. It was crazy. Drugs, period. Them niggas crazy. was blacking out. Going crazy. They was blacking out. Everybody high. They doing them psychedelics like crazy. Especially. All that shit. Especially shit Bill Cosby had. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bill Cosby, nigga. He, uh. That nigga was shoot, shooting shots and people drinks. Nigga. Yeah, that's just uh, <laughs> a tricky game, though, man, when you're a celebrity, man, fuck with all these bitches, man. You got to be careful, man, because these hoes, boy, they could wake up one day and be mad at you and go file sexual right. assault, rape, whatever they want to on your ass. It don't even and have to have And then you got to prove no yourself because you is, is, is guilty and to prove innocent in 2023. So, so, people, so. People, people run with the allegation yes. before they run with the so, truth. So is it safe to say that you got to let these hoes sign the NDA you know what I'm saying? Off the smart rip, niggas do that. Off rip, like before you even have a conversation with the her. The smart niggas do that. Yeah, that's, Damn, that's, that's crazy. Them them NBA players, nigga. Not all them, of them. No, not all of them. <laughs> but uh, but them them top upper echelons of the NBA players, them niggas make bitches sign NDAs off the rip. Uh, that's tricky, bro. A lot of these niggas sharing baby mamas now. Nigga, yeah, but a lot of niggas sharing. Nigga, that's not even just the, the fucking NBA, nigga. That's the whole industry. Yeah, fact. You feel me? Right. That's look, look, and I say that shit too. Like when when uh the girl Leah Petty, when niggas be like, damn, she got two basketball players, nigga, 
she probably go to the same places. She gonna attract the same type of people. Yeah, do, mm-hmm. do you care though? No, hell no. But I'm saying like if you're a basketball player and it's another nigga like bitch and she look good, you're bad do you bitch. care? Fuck that no. she gotta care with him. Hell no. Nah, you can fuck her, but don't nothing. Nigga, you're not gonna care. You're not gonna care. I said fuck her, but don't nut in her. Don't have another kid by her. My nigga. Because you're gonna set her for life. My nigga, wait, wait, wait. Nah, wait, wait. Nah, wait, wait. Nah, yeah, don't love her. Nah, ho, ho, nah, ho, ho. Don't love him. Ho, ho. If you fuck love her, though. don't love him. Ho. Huh? We from the streets. I know. You can uh, fuck him, but don't love him. Wait a minute. Why? Because you got a kid with somebody else? You can't love him? Man, you already know what she about. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. We all from the streets. Bad. We are all from the streets. We are. Go My ahead. My nigga, we didn't took chances like that with hood rat bitches, bro. Fucking them raw, yeah. doing all type of shit. And we didn't have a hundred million next to our fucking name, AD. No, but still. But uh, still nothing. I don't got a kid with somebody that had a kid before me. You said what? I don't got a kid yeah, with me Yeah, me neither. Me neither. Me neither. But I'm just saying, motherfuckers, nigga, I, didn't, I for sure didn't roll the dice with some bitches I didn't want to be my baby mama. <laughs> AD, 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 the AD now is way smarter than the AD back then. I don't know. With all that shit you got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't know either. <laughs> I think I got more no, power. No, no, no. Like, no, nah, cuz. Come on now. Give yourself some credit now. You are not about to do that. You're not about to be that reckless nigga that you was back then. How drunk am I? Drunk or not, AD. I didn't talk to you drunk enough, and you knew better. You knew to take your ass home. Yes. And you good. But, it's, bro, but no, nigga. I still have a it's, sickness. It's, AD. Listen, let me cook, cuz. I need some walking around. Let me money. cook. I need some new yeah, shoes. Yeah. You a nigga, you a nigga who get pussy, bro. Let's let's take it there. No, I get one pussy. Hey, well, back then you used to get pussy. Yes. These niggas ain't no, getting no then pussy. No, back then I didn't get pussy. I had one pussy. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> These oh, niggas man. ain't getting no pussy like that, bro. No, now no. they getting a hundred million. They was while you was out there getting pussy and you was in the clubs and shit, these niggas was perfecting their craft. That's why they at where they at. And now they seeing these bitches and they head over heels for them. And that's why they falling into this shit. We seeing this shit over and over and over again with the Zion Williams shit, Williamson shit this summer. And now with the Anthony uh, Sam, Simons and uh, Brandon Ingram Brandon, shit. Brandon Ingram. It's, it's, y'all all fucking the same bitches. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's plenty of them out there that don't have no kids that look just as bad that you can go get. That you can slide in their DMs, bro. It's just that easy. Us, we used to have to go out and see what we can see. <laughs> These niggas got a phone where they can see everything. Yeah. It's different. But I will say this, right? You go through life, like you said, perfecting your craft. Now, nigga, you up. Every single woman that you look at on Instagram is at your disposal. Mm. Them bitches that is showing them motherfucking pictures and they half fucking naked Mm -mm -mm. and they looking bad Mm -mm -mm. and they are one DM away Mm. and then they come pull up on you looking crazy, Mm. smelling good, suck your dick, telling you that they love you, all type of shit, they do anything for you and fuck the shit out of you. You, All that shit go out the window, bro. I'm telling you. Not with me. I don't know about you. Bitch suck my dick the first (laughs) time and tell me she love me. (laughs) Bitch, you up to something. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> but it was she's a good topper. <laughs> she yeah. her back I'm going to enjoy the moment. I'm going to let you do, I'm going to let you finish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, well, but yeah, I know you don't love me. It's good. No, but I'm saying the girl of your dreams, nigga. What Snoop used uh, to bitch. say? Listen, what listen. Snoop used to we say, all bitch, listen. you don't love me. You just love my doggy style. The girl of my dreams. <laughs> the girl of your dreams. That's your cheesy cuz. Huh? Yeah. We don't got no girl of our dreams. I'm really, just saying for them niggas. Like a million girls of our dreams. <laughs> nigga, prime example. All a million girls of your dreams. I love all these bitches that look exactly. good, nigga. Love so, bitches got a fat hey, ass with small waist. I love hey, it. Hey, so all them niggas can wake up and say, I'm about to shoot 30 shots, nigga, by 10 a.m. right now. All 30 hit back. Moby. The joints. No, but I get, I get, I get both of y'all. Come I get on. both of y'all stances, but I also get whole shit. I'm more with whole shit. Like, that mentality, well, what he's talking about, I had that mentality today. When I was younger, I didn't. I had your mentality, like, I was busting a bitch. But older, now that I'm older and wiser, and I know what come with that, and of I'm course. smarter about who I, you know, no. if I would do that. Me, me as well. That's I why he both, said. I get both. I get but both I'm now. saying, a young, a young nigga got a rookie contract, my nigga. He ain't really had no bitches like that. But he's talking from an older perspective. Yes. He's talking from our age. But when we was younger, nigga, okay, uh, add millions to that. Right. Yes. Nigga, what? 
I got five kids now. What do you think I would have had with millions? <laughs> that's what, that's, what, that's exactly. what I'm saying. <laughs> you would have had 50. I would have had 50. Man. For sure. I for sure would have had about 20. I'd have been Will. <laughs> I would have been Will. If like you above, gave like. me a million dollars at 21, my nigga. Over with. I'm. <laughs> oh, over with. It's back. Yeah. But it's... you got to think, though. We didn't have our dads in our house with a pun. He oh, did. God. He did. We didn't have our dads with his AD, so we didn't have no dads steering us in the right way. Be like, hey, man, these hoes going to come for you. You know what I'm saying? Look out for this, this, and this. Don't let these hoes trick you, nigga. I'm going to keep it real, though. I'm going to keep it real, though. Our Arab parents didn't talk about that. Like, no. They didn't. No. Nah. They so, didn't. Even though my dad was there, they, we didn't have those kind our, our generation, we have those conversations with our yeah, kids. Yeah, exactly. Because it's more possible. I think to them, it was one of those things that they wasn't ready to accept what's going to happen with us. Like, when people like the birds and the bees conversation, like, nigga, I didn't have no birds and bees conversation with my pops. Like, well, that came when he well, found me, like, fucking a bitch in the room. Man, well, you know what? You know what I'm saying? I, like, I ain't gonna lie. My pops wasn't in the house, but he did have them conversations with me, though. Yeah, like, that That come, like, later, though. Like, my dad yeah. had, I didn't nah, have conversations No, it wasn't later, because I was, like, eight. <laughs> yeah, I was he said eight. <laughs> my dad was talking to me about that. Uh, my, my pops was, was a realist, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had his first kid at, like, 16. So... You know, he he talked to me about about all that shit, but you know, I wasn't ready for that thing. I be talking. I'm to my saying kids I wouldn't. Young. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You say you what? I be talking to my kids young, like while they young. Shit, nigga, nigga, my son, my nigga, my everything. son, see Yam Cam, cousin, be like, can I go to Ace Boys, nah. nigga? I'm like, hey, listen, <laughs> nephew. I'm listen. These niggas is older, son. Like you got <laughs> you got some ways to see this. You gonna see this your whole life, but you know what I'm saying these girls ain't worth nothing, son. You don't want no girls like this. Yeah, yeah. No, don't tell him that. Yeah, yeah. No, he don't. Whoa, he don't. No, I'm not. I'm not. Whoa, I'm not. You don't want you, man. You don't want no. What is wrong with you? No, you don't want no girl on camera shaking her ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's your good. That's shit. That's shit. Good for entertainment, but that ain't good for my son. Don't bring that shit to the house, son. Don't have no baby by none of that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love the Yam Cam girls. I love y'all. Sound but, very but, judgmental. Gonna you now. I'm not. Gonna I'm you not. Now. I'm not being judgmental. But hey, son, they're you, women too. Whoa. What you gonna What you going What you gonna do with this? They're women. They bro. are. They are. And shout they're out great, to them. They're great women. They are. Continue they are. To shake that they ass are. But those are same. But those are the same women. They are that, beautiful those women. Those are same type of women that we're talking about right now. What's wrong with shaking your ass? It is it's nothing. It's working. I didn't say nothing. They're coming over to have fun. I said there's nothing wrong with it. But that ain't the type of shit I want for my son. That's what I'm saying. They're just okay. dancing. They're not doing nothing. You 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 dance on camera. You crit walk. Are you a bad person? <laughs> I I never had got no dollars thrown at me for crit. We don't walk. throw dollars at them. <laughs> they they work as they work we, at spots. Not so all of know. them. Only one of them. Nah, not only one of them. And even if not only one of them. Judgmental ass Not only one of them. Come on, man. Some women have to do what they gotta do to they, get to and, where they wanna and get all, to. By all means, do what you gotta I'm a, do. I'm, I'm disgusted I'm being a by parent. my big homie. I'm being, I am the shame. Hey, I be ashamed. Be ashamed of you. Hey, the way I parent is the way you is different from the way you parent. The, the, the hey, parent. hey. Shout out to the Yam Cam girls. I love them all. I love them all. Me and Punch stand in solidarity. I love y'all all. Listen. Listen. But that ain't going to be it for my son. I'm just saying. he got he got girls are queens, bro. Hey, he got a bright future ahead, and it ain't going to be that. Bro, you going to see that. There's going to be a girl, a young girl, going to be like, hey, Noah. And that's why I'm trying to tell him now. He ain't going to listen, though. He might not. He ain't going to listen. He might not, but that's when I'm be like, nigga, hey, I told dad, you. I want to get on his ass. I told you. I told you. Go ahead, though. I mean, they all fall victim Listen, to it. Everybody got to bump their especially, head. Especially, exactly. Especially if he going to be traveling city to city. He already doing that shit now. You know what I'm saying? Going to different cities, traveling for sports. So when he do that shit in college and, and if he make it to the pros, then, hey, I'm like, I told you. All this right, is, let this, me, this let is me conversations we had. Let me ask you. What type of woman do you want your son to end up with? Realistically. Uh, Somebody like his mom. Okay. Respectable. Man, you know that shit ain't never on the parents. I mean, we can we can hope. Yeah, we wish. can hope. Like my dad and mom probably wish I I had somebody like my mom. Boy. You're right. I mean but. it's different, bro. Our generation is like every generation is gonna be different. Like what like we just think of like the mamas back then compared to the mamas now. Oh, it's way different. Like this shit is crazy. But it's more I mean, back at the shit. I mean, you know, these but mamas these mamas ain't as uh loving and uh but when I say somebody like when I say him, somebody bro. like his mama, I'm just thinking about everything his mama did for me. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was it was right, 
whether it was wrong, she, you know what I'm saying? I was doing wrong and she helped me be wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got into some shit. She helped me get out some shit. I sound like, you know? Uh, I sound like a Yam Cam girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I agree. They're, they're, they're queens. Be. They're queens. Hey. I love the Yam Cam girls. They're queens. We speaking I love against them all. This. I love them all. This you think Yam Cam girls won't be That's why I watch y'all this every week. I you, love think, it. you think Yam Cam girls won't be there for you, brother? I don't know. I don't I don't know them like that. You don't that. think they may know. not bail you out if you need to? Yeah. yeah. They got the money. They gon' they gon' get that money. They shaking ass. That's what I said. They got the money. That's what I said. They gon' take that money. They got the money. I thought only one got the money. I just said they got the money. No, all of them got money. No, you said they got money thrown at them. I just said they got the money. They got money. Hey, if they got it, then they gon' take that money and bail you out. I'm just saying. Hey, if anything, you ain't gonna complain then. If anything, be like, get you a woman like your mom. I just, I just, you know what? You can get you a stripper. I just ask, I just ask, I just ask, I just ask for you to not bring one. Strippers need love too. One certain type of person to my house, and and we're gonna leave it at that. They're adult entertainers. I just don't want him to bring a certain type of woman. What type of woman are you referring to? Wow. Nah, man, you're gonna make me look crazy. This is crazy. No, 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 no. (laughs) No, no. Cook, what type of woman? You make yourself crazy. Don't bring no junkies to my house. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I'm with that. I'm with that. We're not. We're not. We're not with the. We're not with the druggies. Yeah. So girls that are like we get the druggies. So basically, like lean girls that do any type of drug. Okay, I'm with that. How about how about drinkers like that? She can occasionally sip if she's a of age. Okay. Okay. Outside of that, don't bring them to my house. Okay. What else? That's it, I, and that's it. That's it. Don't I don't that want cool. no that could be, that could be. So that could be a stripper. What I gather from if this, that, if that's what you're doing, yeah. By all means, to get yourself by, because I know a lot of college students do that. Go ahead. Can she be a hood bitch? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. What what I, what I gathered from this is uh. You think the Yam Cam girls are druggies? <laughs> no. I just, look, here you go. Ah, justice hey, for the Yam Cam hey, girls. Hey, you know these niggas about to clip that up and make me look crazy. Justice girl. for the Yam Cam you know girls. I didn't say that. Come on. Hey, man, don't panic. <laughs> Nigga, don't don't make me look crazy out here, cuz. He's gonna make yes. you look crazy now. Don't make me look crazy yeah, you better, out here. You better get your cleanup speech. You better get your cleanup speech. Yeah, clean it up now. I, I just didn't say that. I didn't say no, that. No, you did it. I, I didn't say that. Easy. I didn't say that they was drunk. Okay, so or nothing. Uh, look, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a chance right now. How do you feel about the Yam Cam girls? Are they acceptable yeah, for uh, your all son? Of, from all of them that I met, yes. Okay. All yeah. of them. But it's it's a few of them. Liar! For my son. That's what he said. For my for my son. That's what he said. It's it's, it's 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 like a handful, yeah. Wait, who's not? Ah. <laughs> why, why why not go to is Cla- who is Cla- who, Master who three thousand yes, acceptable? Yes, because she's a mother and okay, I watch okay. her and she does her thing. Nina, okay. Nina, okay, uh, okay. Who else? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Spliffany. Okay, okay. He sure do know their names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I told you I watched them every week. <laughs> nigga, over the spank bag. <laughs> Nigga, every week. This and, ain't uh, for you, Sunday for me. <laughs> I like uh, what what was her name that came on on Saturday? Was it Nia? Uh, Nye. 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 The little, the little, the little, uh, little short nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Nye. 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 And then what's the other one? The other one. Which one? Cali? Is it Cali? Oh yeah, yeah, Cali. Cali. Cali yeah. She's That's not the one from the here. Blue, She's from blue, Minnesota, right? right? Cali. Yeah, Cali. She lives in Texas right That's now. That's the one with the blue, the blue eyes, right? No, no, no. That's the one. Who's that? She be with Nye and Clapmaster. Yeah. I say third partner. Yeah, so yeah. Shout out to them. That's what's up. If man. I'm forgetting you, I'm sorry, but uh, he, named, he named the favorites. Yeah. I see what you did there. Great way to clean that up. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Great way to clean that up. So you want Noah to run into somebody like Chris Sean? No. She talking like Ooh, this. Chris no. Sean. What if your son brought Chris Sean home? <laughs> what a, with blue face name, like I mean, face, face. Get this bitch out my house. Right? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm taking. You see, you see this shit she, uh, she she told Cam Newton. What's she telling? Look at this shit. Tell me something that somebody don't know about you. Help me out with that. I don't know how to fuck. What? It's not a good because excuse. You just, you just, it's okay. more like it got this funny vibe I got going on because it's like, damn. When I creamed on you last night, that wasn't enough. Okay. Whoa. Mm. You're not talking about me. Oh, oh. She's not talking about me, y'all. Uh. Tell me something that somebody don't right. know about. So you. serious. All right, so that. pause that. So this fight. Krishan? That's Krishan. Yeah. No. Yeah. But no. the Krishan prior to this, before she met Blueface, yeah, because she was a beautiful woman. She was athletic. She's still not beautiful? She wow. is. But wow. now, but now we've been seeing her in a crazy light, bro. And nah, son. Like, she head over heels over a nigga, bro, and she got him tattooed 
overwear, nah. It's called everywhere. love. Nah, nah, that ain't love, bro. Uh-huh. That's humility. Oh, wow. He humili- humiliated that girl, like, for real, for real. He did. Buddy, did. He did. No. Wait, oh, is this one? Is it this one? No. Above. Oh, never mind. This nigga. Let it go. Goddamn. Six <laughs> buttons later. Yeah, six <laughs> buttons. Let it go, man. Nah. Humility. Nah, she 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 ain't it. She so, ain't so it. So you blaming Blueface? Cause you been having that machine all this time, cause how you don't know the buttons, yeah. bro? Oh, you go. Ah. Yeah, but Blueface, you know that something. You know they made for each other, bro. Yeah. No, but I say, why you blame him? I yeah. mean, you gotta, cause he's the blame. You gotta blame both. You know. I say blame both. No, but I'm saying he. I'm sure he means both. I think he means Blueface. Humidity. Wait, you mean she's not guilty of nothing at all? You mean? What you mean? Guilty of what? What? Is she guilty of what? Shit, she, she kicking felt... everything off. Huh? She be the one kicking everything off. You might you don't be right. Ever, I, don't, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't watch her like look, that. So. Look, look, look. Gotta, is, I just gives, watch what I see. He the gives clips me of, responder vibes. You he gotta, responds to what you she does. Think, you got to think about it, right? I feel like Blueface, his whole family out of everybody, he's always responding to what they say. So, like, his mom will say something, he responds to her. Krishana say some claim, he responds to her. That nigga be trying to be low-key. He, nah, he, he, he be do. he be doing some troll shit too. Cause he, give me an example. He responds. I can't. To her I can't. I can't give you just one example because it's a whole lot of shit. Like the shit he do with his son and the shit that he exposed to his son. But he, re, 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 yeah, it's responding to certain shit though. It's like, yeah. hey man, you don't want to be gay, Respond- man. I'm okay. So with that, I, you can tell yeah, your son I'm, that, but that's not a response to nothing. It's just that, response to was the media is pushing and pumping in our kids' faces. Okay, so you talking about just like far as something like what a at or not what it's a, a little more deeper. Okay, yes, yeah. So I tell my son that too. Like, you know, this is the type of shit that they pushing on you too. But I'm talking about far as this messy shit though, what he do in between both women, he caused that shit though. And all she doing is reacting that. How does he cause it though? He being a nigga, bro. Okay, being a nigga, you still you still provoking people. Look, it'd be different. It'd Justice. be it'd be different if Justin. He came out was like Krishan, bop 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 bop, and then she did. It's usually she like Blueface did this and bop bop bop. Hey, so and he never, he, he never, he never did nothing spiteful to to. No, no, I'm not saying that he hasn't played his part, but I'm saying to say that. But you saying he, that he, you saying that it's all a response. He didn't kick some shit off. No, I'm to make saying her the, act majo- the, way she the majority <laughs> of the time, the majority of the time, that shit is crazy. She jump out of that motherfucker. Yeah, and but it's over. Like, but it's over. It but it's over him. Maybe, maybe he doing something disrespectful to her, it's or maybe hard. it's. But you you're know. saying maybe you're assuming it's too I hard to keep be, up, bro. Yeah, it's I mean it's it's, it's it's a lot of shit, ad. Yeah, I don't lot. sit there and watch lot. these niggas' lives, like. But just the shit yeah, that I don't, see. Don't put that on a brother. If you and don't know the it's facts. Both of, both of them is. They say it's both of them. Both of them is messy, cause like for real humility. It's a lot of it's a lot of them. It's it's a lot of shit to go on between them two. So. I can't keep up with everything. Yeah, so I, that's why I say you gotta give it fifty fifty. It's, it's both. But definitely not, 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 not for my son. He too chill for that. And okay, let me ask you. But like, like a woman is gonna be putting hands on you, son. If 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 anything, that that's, that that she gotta go because if the moment you put your hands on her, is you gonna fuck your life up. So mm-hmm. you know she gotta go. Let me ask you this though: What do you say to her making a music video? You know, dissing her baby daddy. I mean, that's the wave uh, right now. Shit, it was sexy red. That's your girl. She just did one in the jail. That's my girl. Cause you said you a fucker. That, that doesn't mean she's my girl. You like her though. I, I don't, don't like nothing about I have her. A crush on her. I don't like nothing about her. She. You a fuck sexy red? <laughs> that's what, yeah. I Remember said, G I, Malone called I in just and said everything. I, would knock her down. I didn't say that I want to wife her. She trash. Mm, she trash. Best. But I mean, that's the wave now. Everybody dissing their baby daddy now, right? You dissing a lot of women today. Why would you? Why would you fuck <laughs> her? What you find? What you find appealing about sexy red? Like what? She seemed like a nasty ass bitch. Oh, okay. So you yeah, she nasty, fact, all right. Not the fact that she looked nasty is like no. Nah, she she nasty, didn't seem like she nah. She looked like nasty. She, nah. She looked like she born from the video I seen. Look like she might get some good top. Uh, so this is me. She don't need like vibes where I feel like if I hit this, I might catch some vibes. Man, that, yeah, for what, sure. Fact. Yeah. I'm saying not, that's not the case, but just you know, not trying to be like a stereotype or nothing, but. You know, some girls you look at you like, nah. Yeah, and that's nah. That's a little too freaky. Yep. Eh, not her. 
<laughs> this is a little too freaky right here. Not like in a bad in a good way. Hey, listen, a that's just me. I'm way. just saying. I done rolled the dice. I didn't say I was gonna hit it raw. I didn't say and I was gonna hit it. That goes back you know to what, what Hove was saying and then what I said after that. We was like, no, this is what you changed. I'm like, no, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you see how he's still talking? Fact. Roll the Fact. dice. Well, who's somebody rolled the dice at the beginning? Ain't, ain't too much age, change. Man, this is this is Thanksgiving, man. I just want to say I'm grateful <laughs> for everything uh, that's happening around here. I don't want this conversation to be about me right now. Uh, and my ways. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's just go you, ahead and But you made it about me. Subject. You made it about me and, and, and this and the yam cam girls and shit like that. I'm about hey, to man, get. I, I I'm about you're, to I get, think you're sexist. But I'm, I'm, right. I'm, I'm about to get clipped the fuck up yeah, <laughs> yeah, on yeah, Thanksgiving. You, can, you about to get clipped <laughs> for sure. They about to hate me before. Oh, the yam cam girls about to kill you, girl. No, they know I love them. Hey, something else. Let's 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 pivot this to something with with some more. I seen women. this too. You seen this pun? Well, go ahead. Davey's text message going viral. No, I ain't saw that. Yeah. Girl tried to ask him for 20000 to smash. 20K. 20K Look, is crazy. He said, I don't do let me know. You make it happen or you don't. Flight hotel fee. He said, what's the fee again? 20K? I'm good, mama. We had this convo before. She said, depends on how long you want to hang out. He said, that's why I was saying what's up. I'm not no escort, nigga. Think you got me confused, at least texting free. He's, so you hit me up to complain about not booking me? He said, huh? I hit you and said, what's booking. up with you? I ain't complaining about shit, but definitely won't bother you again. Then it said, them niggas ain't paying you 20K to fuck you. If they is, that's tough. Not me, though. Stay blessed. Oh, uh, he must ain't saw Zion shit. Zion, Zion paying 20. 60. He paid 60. 60. He, she said, have a good one. Those who pay me don't try and cover me sideways and cry about a couple bands. They're men of action and make it happen. He said, sounds bands. like an escort to me. Good luck with sounds that. Sounds like a whore. Yeah. <laughs> and you knew that to hit me up. Let me tell you something. 20 bands. Davies, bands. shout out to you. Shout Still out, on business, shout nigga. Out to Cuzzo. Let me tell you something. 20 bands. I ain't, never, I ain't never met or seen a bitch that I would spend 20000 a fuck ever. Let me tell you something, bro. That shit, they that, shit is a, mind. that shit is an instant turnoff when a bitch Facts. try to like talk about money when y'all have a like, you know, possibly linking up the fuck talk. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh yeah, we could, yeah, it's only gonna cost you, like, nah, bitch, no response, over with. If a bitch ever, it's done. That. It's done. It wouldn't even been all that conversation. I'm turning like, up too, a, bitch. A, you think a, I'm a trick? No, it's not like an instant turnoff. It's shit, like I'm, I'm bitch, cussing you out. Who you think you is? Especially if you asking for twenty thousand for sex, nigga. Listen. I had a bitch I was chilling with, nigga, for like two hours, nigga, thinking I'm about to knock her down. Like, she told me give her three hundred. Said, bitch, three hundred dollars. <laughs> You're not the prize, bitch. Three hundred dollars. Bitch, who is you? That's how much your pussy is worth. Three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bitch. that's now that's disgusting. Shit, Figueroa, they they <laughs> they cheaper than that. I'm just saying, cuz like my nigga. How much you be paying? I don't pay shit. <laughs> got I him. Got I him. Not much. Uh, <laughs> Black Friday tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of Black Friday, there's a lot of sales going on right now. Man. It is. I like, need like hey, crazy I need, sales. I need to, I need to watch the dry. You want to know that pissed me off? What? Shout out to Prize Picks, man. I'm going to talk about it's that, man. Prize Picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. How does it work? You pick two to six players, and if they will go more or less than their prize picks projections, and you know what you don't know. You Hold can on, win up to 25 times Bizzle. your money on any entry. Why you don't ever pull up the prize picks thing so it can pop up when you do it? I forgot we had that. Okay, there you go. back to it. Prize Picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. How does it work? You pick two to six players if they will go more or less than their prize picks projections. You can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. Prize Picks adds a ton of excitement to the sports viewing experience. Watch your progress updates in real time, win up to 25 times your entry amount, and cash out your winnings with quick scoring, setting, and withdrawals. Prize Picks offers projections on any sport that you watch. That includes NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, college football, men's college basketball, women's college basketball, soccer, WNBA, esports, NASCAR, tennis, MMA, boxing, golf, Euro basketball, cricket, and many more. Price Picks is currently operational in 30 states and in Canada and not Ontario. Use yeah. code COMMUNITY, community. for 100% deposit match up to $100. Let's go. There okay. you go. There this nigga is. AD can be a goddamn, 100. be on radio commercials. Nigga, the way I'm about to do it all, really? nigga. Man, that's dope, man. My boy is literate. You know what I'm saying? You no, seen but, that shit I sent you last night? Wait, hold on, hold on. I was going to say. girl was like, after you read that book, you can hit that. Nigga said, That's AD. 
Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say I love that man because it's the because it's the fucking holidays. I was not able to put my prize pick projections in because I tried to deposit some money into my prize pick account, and because I got a new phone, my Apple Pay is deactivated today. Oh, so that's... I can't spend no money and yeah. play with prize picks today. So I'm pissed. I play every fucking day. I love it. Shit was a man. And yesterday, I'm so fucking pissed off because the Dallas Mavericks was on a fucking roll in fourth quarter. They didn't almost score for nine fucking, fucking minutes. minutes. Yeah, nigga, LeBron brought them all the way back just to turn the fucking ball No, over. shout out to the Lakers because they was down 20. Yeah, LeBron so brought to, them all so the way back. So to barely lose, but I, have, I had Chili on Luka and I had Chili on Kyrie. And oh, yeah. them niggas in the last quarter didn't score for almost nine fucking minutes. Man. Hello. Pissed. But they did score in like they uh after no, that nine later, minutes. Later, at the yeah, nine after minutes, nine they minutes, start scoring. Score. Yeah. But you know, nigga, I'm like, all right, Kyrie, I need him to get four more assists. I need Luca to make one more three. And that nigga Luca went, I think, four for like fifteen for three yeah. pointers. Yeah. What is that? Try to stop try to stop the head coach from running into the locker room at security shit. guard. Pass it to me. We'll pull it up right now. No, I ain't got serious. Oh fuck it. Yeah. But no, on some real shit, that, speaking of security, you seen this shit of Travis Scott? What happened? This was kind of dope. What happened? So a fan ran on stage. Uh-huh. When Travis Scott was performing. Look he, how he, he handled gonna it. Stop him and he was like, go ahead. Look at this. Look at this. And who's that? In the black. That's the fan? That's the fan. That's the fan. Look. Yeah, he got that close to Travis look Scott. Look how he grabbed him. Look how he grabbed him. He got that close to Travis Scott? Yeah, nigga, look. Oh, they fired. Look at that. They fired, cuz. He told him, let him go. Let him go. Look. Yeah, but they fired, cuz. There's no way a nigga should be able to get that close to you. Right. Bro. Look, he let him stay up there. Yeah, that's cool. Look. But there's no way a nigga should get that close to you, bro. Mm-mm. He got super close. Look at this. Look, he going crazy. Bro. Man. That's nigga, the, he, nigga, 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 that, that, then he let him jump back in the crowd. That's fire. What's crazy is, nigga, I, nigga, I bought a ticket to the show. Nigga, I hop up there, and this nigga let me rock. Oh, uh, nigga, I'm going crazy. And yeah, I'm, but you could have got your ass beat. Yeah, yeah, but that, that, but that was the risk he was willing to take. That's you could have like, got your ass it's like, beat. It's like when people run on a football field. Yeah, they, they, they know that. Yeah. But it's like, nigga, I'm a, this is my only chance to do this. Some of these people, this nigga, they done saved up for this moment, right, nigga. Like, this is my only chance to get close to Travis Scott. So he'll, yeah, I'm gonna hey, take my shot. And he'll look what he'll never forget that. Yeah. Never. And nigga, you know, you know how crazy he about to go up, nigga. I was on there with Travis Scott, nigga. Everybody know that's him. That know him. You know that's what, what that's equivalent to. What the motherfucking goofy movie when he told the bitch he was going to uh, dance a power line and shit. What are we four years old? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what the that fuck was you classic. talking about, you nerd? Nigga, talk oh, about Max my, and shit. My bad. I forgot. Y'all niggas <laughs> is old. Y'all niggas is older. You remember the Goofy movie? My right. bad. My bad, old heads. I never that wasn't that your movie. time. Okay. <laughs> my bad, old heads. We was cripping already. Hey, we, was, they, we, was they were, we was outside. They were waiting on you. In the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I said we was outside waiting for you. Just wait on you, young man. You, you was watching that goddamn goofy move. That nigga said, what are we, four? <laughs> I am not thankful for pun this year. <laughs> Nigga, we at home got quiet. Like, <laughs> movie, movie, movie. like, what the fuck are you talking about? Where this shit about to go? Hey, <laughs> spam power line in the comments, nigga, when you see this shit. Hit the like button, nigga. Hey, first of all, to the goofy movie, it's a classic. Hey, Goofy movie, nigga. Hey, Goofy movie, nigga. Hey, first of all, to the goofy movie, it's a classic movie. Nah, I know some people that love that movie. I just ain't never. Did you ever see? Did you ever see the um the last season of Atlanta? Uh, no, I didn't. Nah, I did. Damn, one of the best episodes. Was about this guy that I thought it was real too, that made the fuck um, that made the character Goofy, and hey, they said the Goofy movie is the blackest uh, movie of all time. Was um was um in the last ep- uh, season of ATO is it still the the two uh, the main three characters? Yes. Childish gonna be on the two other niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's dope. The fourth, the third I, season I, I, was a little weird. The fourth season brings yeah. it back. I love seeing them niggas blow up from that because I didn't know them before that show. I didn't know them. Hell movies. yeah! I mean, I know, I know, I know, I know uh, Donald Glover, but 
I I know. Not Lakeith like, Stanfield. Stanfield. He killing it. Yeah, they both that nigga, killing it. That nigga Tyree, Paperboy, he's they killing, both it. killing it. Z- yeah. What's her name? Zaza Beats. Yeah. She's killing yeah, it. Yeah, like I, that's dope how they spun off and became like, boom, like right. booming. Mm-hmm. They right, doing like right. big shit. Right. Big yeah. big shit. Yeah, cause I, I love the one with bro on the train. I love the train movie. Yeah, that's, that's oh, Paperboy, uh, uh, right? Bullet Train? Yeah, Bullet I train. love that movie. Yeah, I, I love even, that movie. I haven't even seen that shit. It's a good movie. Yeah. Check it out. I ain't seen it. Because I know Bad Bunny in there too, right? It's a good movie. It's kind of like, uh, you remember that movie with uh, Common, Alicia Keys, when they was all snipers trying to go yeah. for the same person? Yeah. Oh, Smoking Aces. Yeah. Smoking Aces. It's kind of like Smoking Aces. Damn. That's what I, it I, I, I fuck with that. All these hitmen trying to attack one person. Yeah. No, Smoking Aces I, I was fuck, dope too, by the way. Smoking Aces was dope. Yeah. I watched that like two weeks ago. You know you know what I seen that I was I was surprised it was getting like... It was it was it was getting a lot of slack, and I was like, "This shit cool." Which one? The Continental. I haven't saw it. That's, that's, a, that's a series, though, right? That shit cool. The series. I haven't saw I it. I fuck with that shit. But John Wick's not in it. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's them niggas is. I can't watch it like that. Why? Like, when I'm used to the movie being about this person, and then they come out with a spinoff, and the person's not in it at all. I'm like, I don't know how to feel about that. No, nah, because yeah. you, it gotta be like it gotta be like dope. But it's to ex- make me forget it's, it's about expand, John Wick. It's expanding the world. To make me forget about John Wick, I like it gotta be dope. Right. Because John Wick is like an uh, amazing character. He is. You know what I'm saying? Top tier character. So it's like when you take what he's known for, where he goes, and boo, 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 and he's not in the movie. So it's like they didn't really put like a second, like a character that was like as like powerful. The black nigga died. The, yes. The, yeah, I saw that. Wait, what black nigga? The, the, the continental, uh, the nigga front desk man. No, he, he died. He, he died, died in real, in real life. life. Yeah, he died in real life. No, but he was one of them. Lawrence Fishburne's one of them. Yeah, I like Lawrence Fishburne. I feel Fishburne like the Kirk, movie introduced... They should have spin off with him. Lawrence Fishburne? That whole little underworld. Like, that would have been dope. But that's know, what I'm saying. That would have been you dope. You would watch something no, like might, that. Yeah, because that, that would have been a dope spin off. But the kind of... It didn't have like a character there that was like... No. Let me watch it because but, of this but character. But it's a prequel of before that. The yeah. nigga... What's the nigga that, um, that runs the Continental? It's him when he's young. Yeah, but it's like... No John Wick, bro. We already four in. Now, that blind nigga... At the, in the fourth movie, I want to see some shit with him. We four in, cuz. That nigga was dope. The blind nigga was dope. He was dope. But we four in, cuz. So it was like, all we know is John Wick at this point. And it was like, we don't see him. We don't, it, don't feel, it don't feel right. Okay, well, by that standards, then Lawrence Fishburne would be a, a great candidate. <clears throat> that would be a great spinoff. That would have been a great spinoff. They was talking about. Oh, um, I didn't do that. I think I read that they was trying to make one of, of Holly Berry's character, too. They was thinking about doing that shit. The one of the dogs. I, I was like, ah. I'm not here for like girl super. No, no offense to women. You mm. sound like ho. Mm. Sexist. I'm not Get sexist. Em. It's just they don't do a great job with making the movies for them. The superheroes, like the girl super. That, like I feel like they don't put as much like into it like they do with guys, bro. Because it's like they be cool, but they don't be like. Like you don't want to like. I would say the first Wonder Woman cool. was good. What what woman superhero movie are you anticipating a, a sequel for? Like you know what I mean? It's like no disrespect, no disrespect to the women, but it's like none of them. I feel like they make them too womenish. Like we, they, they gotta do. be like they gotta be like aggressive, like dark. Like make one like a fucking uh, a Homelander, like a female, like what's the one aggressive. Regina King played in? The King, Regina King. Oh, the um the woman King. He- no, she oh, I love Woman King. King. The Woman King was, King was fire. That was Woman King. Shit. Now, that was a that that was, yeah. that was dope. Now, Woman King was fire, but that ain't the one I'm talking about. I love that. I they made her aggressive. Yeah. Oh, you talking about the TV show? Yeah. Watchmen. Was, Watchmen. That was fire. That, yeah. That was fire. Like, like them two? Super fire. I guess. I love I guess, I guess now we got But the be, history of Watchmen that they put in there. Nigga was amazing. I got. I guess we got to say the black women uh, superhero shit is the dopest. They just got to make them like aggressive. But she wasn't really a superhero. Why, uh, Woman King? Viola Davis? No, I'm talking about Regina King and Watchmen. Oh, okay, okay. She wasn't, but she still was dope. No, Viola Davis dope. did her shit, bro. Viola Davis? Got, yeah. Oh, she killed yeah, her. Yeah, she shit. killed her. Because, you know, and no disrespect because she's an older woman. You see what she went through? She put her body through to get yeah, in shape for that? Man, that's dope, man. That's dope, man. Shout out to yeah, her. It paid off because I was yeah. like, I was not expecting that from her. Right. Nigga. She, she she's really, she, 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 now that shows range right there. That's from, range. Like for sure. Do you, um, I'm going to ask you first, pun. What's Do you up? think if they gave you enough chili to be in a superhero movie? Hell yeah. You I, could, yeah. you can work out and be dedicated and do that shit yeah, like crazy? I mean, for one, you get with the trainers that, t- that, that teach you, you that right. Because mm-hmm. I was watching a nigga train for the uh, Creed 3, um, Jonathan Majors. I'm like, Damn, cuz. Yeah. That nigga went through some training, nigga, but they got the trainers for you that do that. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they get your meals. They get everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to get you right. I'll, I'll definitely do that in shit, a, too. In a fast, like, a matter of time, too. That's, that's all we need you know now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? A nigga who makes sure you go to sleep, you get your sleep, you get your workouts in, they're going to train you, and then you get your meals right after, You that that take a lot of pressure off of you. Because I, our day-to-day -day life, our, our, day -to, our day to day life, we just trying to put something in our body to make us keep going to do the next thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All this show, all this shit that we do on the day-to-day, -day, you just trying to make sure you eat so you won't pass the fuck out. It may not be the best thing for you, but you know you put something on your stomach, you can keep going, but then you might not get enough rest because, nigga, we... Nigga, we always streaming. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, Working. Right, right. You nigga, you a, you a dad. Always at the sitting end. down, too. Right, right, you know what I'm right. saying? So it's, it's, it's different. But yeah, I mean, if we had that type of access, of course, that's easy. And you know, you about to get a check, check. Right. That's yep. easy. That's shit, yeah. Um, I seen this today. I don't know how Rick Ross is going to feel about this. Somebody made a biopic of Rick Ross, nigga, that is coming in 2024. This is, this is kind of disrespectful. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Ross right there with the dread. This is kind of disrespectful. Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> Hold on, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm just responding to this real quick. Okay, look at this, guy. This is crazy. If I'm Rick Ross, I'm going to be like, why the fuck would somebody <laughs> make this shit? They look like top flight security. So what, you trying to be a rapper now? So you remember the big drug kingpin, boss? That's what I was thinking. Nigga, was that Brick Baby? I think it was Brick Baby. I saw that. 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 I'm like, is that Brick Baby good? The Pope Pope. But they're making him a correctional officer as his backstory. That's 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 the biggest boss, man. I mean, they got some clearance on the song, so I mean, he had to prove that. Nigga, that Red Cafe? He got There's clearance on the in here, too. Yeah, you can't put that shit out. Nigga, why that. do he have braids? He got some clearance on that. Shout out Red Cafe. That's my nigga, man. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. <laughs> what? He got braids? <laughs> nigga, it's this lifetime? Uh, what else? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Tootie. <laughs> Tootie for sure. That's crazy. What did it say for us, for uh, us Bios Network? Yeah. FUBU got Fubu network? network? I guess. FUBU got network? Nigga, what? Wow. 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 FUBU Network. Who got, like got, got their own shit? They got your boy Brick Baby in there. Oh, they really got Fubu Network? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Wow. No, this is Oh, Fubo. no, that's Fubo. No, no, no. Oh, no. that's football. For Us By Us Network. Let me see. For Us By Us? That's an O. Yeah, that's Fubo. For Us By Work Network. No, I won't lock. No, I won't be. Okay, look. It says Celebrate Black Excellence. It's pulling up. That's wild, cuz. Yeah, for us by us network.com. Let me pull this up. Let me see. For us by us network.com. Oh, shit. I guess it's fucked up. Well, yeah. anyways, we got to talk about one of our other great sponsors, man Cake Brand. Big shout out to Cake Brand. Make sure you go to cakebrand.com. Get yourself some great the merch. Off. And Push this the device, button this five device times. is on its way. We got it early. If you want it, use the device man, on listen, cartridge mode. Hold I'll down pick the somebody button. Somebody from the comments. I got a gang of these. I will give these away to you. But make sure you go to cakebrand.com and get yourself some of that good merch, man. Big shout out to Cake Brand for continuing to sponsor us, man. You said you used to go on that mode after the live show. Yeah, I am. I have to get out. I'm gonna have to get out to somebody. And, you know, also shout out to our other great sponsors, man, Hidden Hills. You know what I'm saying? Go to HiddenHills.com. Shout out to Hidden Hills. Use code community. Hey, Mr. Shout Mushies. Shout out to everybody in this motherfucker, Use code man. community and King Palm, the greatest. If you going to smoke, smoke the right way, man. Get right with King Palm. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I'm actually sure y'all smash that like button, something, too. Something that is very healthy. You know what I mean? Flavorful. Terpenes. You can use it all. With King Pop, man. Big shout out to King Pop. That's cool. Hey, Ho, what you think about everything that's going on this week, man? Oh, man, that's a lot going on, bro. Think about everything you want going me, on. You, this week. You, want, you really want me to talk about it? Yeah, go ahead. Shit, we here. Why not? All right. What's your data, man? It's Thursday. You know, I kind of got upset, man. Somebody what took a shot at? at you, man. What you got a shot at me? Yeah, man. What, what you you know, a little scrawny old smoker said, my 600 pound life. 
When oh, I got, ain't worried about that. When he got two six hundred <laughs> pounders to the left of him. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. You know, and then you know niggas is talking, talking tough. Like niggas really about that. Like, I don't want to get, I don't want to be long winded about it because I'm really over the shit. I'm just ready to meet these niggas in 4K. Um, just keep that same energy, man. You can't say niggas your homies from over here and then y'all let that man disrespect him. Like, if it's work, let it be work. If the nigga want to go in and go go in on the homies over here, don't be in the room with him. I just ask that. Don't be in the room with him. But when you in the room with the nigga and the nigga's talking bad about niggas over here, it's like you on that side. So, so if you on that side, stay on that side because if we catch him and you around, you getting punched on too. That's my thing. Well, or they probably going to, you know, they may move out the way or, you know, I mean, day it's like this because I'm like, like – <clears throat> You can't hold niggas to the same standard that over here because this is different from over there. Mm-hmm. This is really homies. This is really family. We're not employees and bosses. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. This is homies. Mm-hmm. Over there's a job, so it's like the niggas getting a paycheck. When your boss come in the room, if you walk out, you may get fired. Mm-hmm. So your boss no, no. maybe is you, using that as you leverage. You are going to get fired. Listen, your boss is maybe using you as a pawn, as leverage. Like let me walk in here while they're all in here. To make it seem like I have their cosign on this. When really they just like, oh, why would he come in here right now and do this? In their head. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in there right. too. So that's why hence, you can see on. Hence people being quiet. You can see on people's faces, they like. Mm-hmm. Especially that, Sharp. Sharp's in there like. Sharp didn't say a word. I'm not I'm going to give it to you. You can tell Sharp not trying to be in the middle of yeah. none of this shit. But you can tell Flacco not trying to be in the middle of none of this shit. They just sitting there like. Okay. You know but what to mean? the fact, I was telling him earlier, if Cuz really your homie, Cuz shouldn't be over there. Oh, if y'all gonna come over here, I, niggas better not act tough. Uh, buy a shirt. I mean, listen, not, like not. Nah. But listen, cuz if no, cuz no. is your homie, if cuz go to that store, what you gonna do? If that's how you act, if that's your energy, listen, what you gonna do? I know niggas in real life, man. Listen, real life, nothing. Pod, I don't know, cuz. Listen, cuz. Uh, listen, but listen. No, listen I, to me, Dizzle. Listen to me. Wait, we, show, you got yours off on, on the yeah, news. You got it, Let got me it. get my off. Cuz, cuz, cuz talking about niggas better not act tough. So if my homie come if 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 my homie come in there, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, cuz? It go, it go back to what I'm saying. It's your boss. So Nigga, listen, if, now, if we worked if now. we worked in Jack in the Box, cuz listen, cause. Now, listen, you talking from a homie sitting in a room with homies. This is your boss. So when you want to be the the manager mm-hmm. or the top employee, what do they usually do at a job? They kiss ass, mm-hmm. right? That's what niggas do. Because I want to be I want to make sure I'm solidified. But nigga, when it's really up in smoke, is that gonna be the energy or is it going that's when your homie side gonna kick in and be like, oh, that's this one. Let me step to the side or try to stop it, but I ain't gonna punch cuz because that's the homie. Yeah. So it becomes who does so, your loyalty lie down to more in this situation? Cause now it's this nigga ain't really your homie. You fuck with him. Yeah, you the homie because you gave me a job and an opportunity, but are you really my homie? Then it's like, what's the extent of AD and Cuz being homies? What's the extent exactly. of them being homies? Exactly. Because everybody. That's, that's what I want to know. That's my thing. And, and, that's, and that's why I was saying, I know Cuz in real life. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we like, are, we, we, ain't gotta, we ain't got to sit there and do that, and I ain't trying to fuck up nothing Cuz got going over there. You yeah, feel me? It becomes a thing of life, nigga. Yeah. You, and, know, and, you know what it is. And, and we know that, and we understand that, Dizzle. But the tough guy talk, that, that throw niggas for a loop. Y'all cool. But then you get on camera and you talk like this. Now, what a nigga like me supposed to expect? You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, if it's up, it's up. Nigga, I'm right there behind you, nigga. On this Fact. internet shit or not, you know? But, but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When Cuz said that, did you take it as he was referring that to me? I don't know who he was referring to because he didn't put no name on it. Let me say this. Let me say this, though. Like, that's what come with it. And that's a lesson you're going to learn, like. If you're going to sit in that room and partake in the tough guy talk, then be ready to stand on what come with that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, a lot of that tough guy talk that goes on, you know ain't nothing going to come from it. But, it's like, cuz, I'm going to say this. When it when it was really like those words that was like, hey, nigga, this shit is going to draw you and make you want to get down, and you didn't want to get down, okay, I see what this is. And right. that's why like a long time ago when I said that shit, I was like, I'm going to leave this shit alone because – Nigga, well, I'm really on some like slapping shit. The niggas talking about, oh, we're gonna call police and you guys aren't yeah, ooh, you're bullies, they, you don't know how to use the words, boo boo. And it's like, all right, I'll see what this is. Right. Y'all notice with anything that happens, cuz try to like counter with like the opposite. 
Yeah. They're scared to talk about bro, me. Playing chess. They didn't say, they didn't you're not going to slide. Yeah, all you guys do is talk about me. Yeah. That's like, my nigga, like, you try to counter with, and that shit is so childish. He's, it's like, he's, he's trying to play chess, man. Yeah, like, listen. You bro. niggas dying over there. Yeah, no. Period, point blank. Y'all shit is trash. Wrap that shit up. <laughs> Wrap it up. No, 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 listen. You listen, niggas bro. need to go do some shit on your own. Wrap it up. It's over with. It's over with, <laughs> nigga. FMW for 2024, nigga. Like it's the election. It's over with. Y'all done. Nobody fucking with y'all, bro. Hey, listen, listen. Like, one thing one thing that's going to be 100 you got to give it to is, like, them niggas is established. Like, I ain't going to say them niggas. That brand is established. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, we get it, cuz. And that's why I was saying on Shame On You, we get it, cuz. But y'all niggas is eight years, 11 years in, your channel. Like, nigga, this is a one-year channel in. And like, how many? How many? World. So how it's many? like... It, it, it's gonna take time, cuz, but believe me, like, nigga, you can't be the OG that's running the hood forever. Right. You run it right now, cause these are young niggas, but when niggas get bulky and get swat, uh, yeah, you tell niggas what to do ain't gonna, ain't gonna yeah. fly. Fact. You gonna get you gonna get knocked the fuck out. But how many and that's, and it's just matter of time. How many, how many and niggas is in this for the long haul? Right. And so, how many established? No, wait, wait, hold, not to cut you off, uh -huh. but let me tell you something. When we started this shit, before nigga any of this beef and anything was going on. Me and Pun had a conversation. Pun said, nigga, we're going to do this shit, nigga, five years, six years, seven years. You get what I'm saying? My nigga, we are on year two. They're about to go into year two, fool. Next in month. A, in a long line of shit that we have to do. You get what I'm saying? Right. This shit is not to go back and forth of who's popping right now, who's doing this right now. My nigga, the fact that we're even in the running of anything, my nigga, lets you know that we have a great future ahead of us, bro. So when niggas say this and say all that, nigga, that's cool. Niggas is learning how to handle all of these situations. Because if we wasn't a threat, a nigga wouldn't say nothing. Right? Right. If a nigga really wasn't a threat, if a nigga was really failing, if a nigga really was doing bad, you wouldn't even give attention to the shit. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep a gangster. <clears throat> that shit benefits him talking about us, and it benefits us talking about him. No matter how this shit slices, because everybody tunes into this motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Yep, and the people that work there and that are employed there, guess what? The same goes for them. That's why T-Rail said yesterday, nigga, work that shit for all it is, because that has an expiration on there. Mm -hmm. And I hope everybody over there had their contingencies in plan when that shit falls. And, and mind you, I don't know how the shit work over there now. Mm -hmm. I mean... When we left, nigga, I'm pretty sure Adam ain't letting nobody slide over there without being on a contract. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So if niggas got contracts, it's a whole nother ball game that niggas is playing. Niggas and employees. Niggas, and niggas is going, nigga, it ain't nothing wrong with being an employee. It's not. It's nothing wrong with being an employee. You feel me? It's not. It take a lot of courage to walk away for some chili. It take a lot of courage to go against certain entities and do all type of shit like that. Everybody ain't equipped and built for that shit. It's not for everybody. You feel me? And if you got a contract, you really got to watch what you do and what you say. So if the boss is coming in the room, my nigga, guess what? Everybody going to be on their best fucking behavior. You get what I'm saying? Because right. that nigga can have that paper like this. Hey, nigga, I could put you on a shelf like a label for three to four years, nigga. Y'all niggas better be with me. 100%. So I don't take that shit and I don't look at this shit like, Oh, niggas is ops. You get what I'm saying? I hear you. Yeah, yeah I, I hear you. But, but, <laughs> but, but how many businesses that we knew and loved coming up for a long time that went out of business? Of course. Hey, man, listen, bro. Time is up. That's why I'm like. It, They're not even treating they, guests right. I was over like, it's just, niggas just laugh at all this shit, cuz. Cuz it's like, this shit is so. I like, don't take this shit seriously. It's so no petty. More. It's so petty at the end of the day, but I get it. Because these are niggas that came from your platform, you're always gonna hold a grudge because Max. you're gonna feel like niggas used you, and nigga, like you don't want them to succeed, bro. So you're gonna always try to like little niggas. Why would you want to succeed? Why would you want to succeed? But listen, why would you want to succeed? Talk, talk. Right. You're gonna always try to remind these niggas that they're your little niggas. Mm -hmm. yeah. So every time you come out, yeah, you don't know how to hold a conversation. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to do this. I murdered you. I did this. I I won. I did. Like, he does everything to try to make niggas look little homies. So it's like, that come with the territory. Like, yeah, you the niggas that brought them to the to the whole, like, you know, podcasting yeah. world shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, niggas got in your world, nigga, and they did their thing, and now they sprung off and doing their thing. And it's like, nigga, nigga don't want to, 
He don't know how to how to how to like really like accept that, digest that. You know what I'm saying? So instead of saying, "Hey man, look, you know what? Fuck it, y'all. I'm proud of y'all, but y'all actually helped me learn for the next motherfuckers that come in how yeah. to do this shit the right way, right. nigga. Shit, y'all gonna do y'all thing. I don't want no smoke with y'all, nigga. We don't want to smoke with you. And everybody going about their business, but it ain't gonna be that. Great point. It's too much ego and pride. Great point. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because how many niggas left? No jumper prior to y'all. It's too much ego and pride. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It don't even matter who. Like I, the fighting I'm, I'm aspect. Just, I already told the homies take the fighting aspect out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, it ain't. It, so, I know. That's man, why I said I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be long winded about it. That. But I'm just saying he never went at nobody who was an ex employee over there outside of y'all. Yeah, but look what we doing. I, that's 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 my point. Oh, I, I mean, it's the obvious, bro. It's like. <laughs> he comes at niggas like that, but he cowers at a nigga like academics. Thanks. Like when you're like this big dog and you're barking, you could never be a big dog. Well, nigga, let's see what you do against the big dogs. Yeah. When you go against the big dogs, you lose. Academics smokes them every time. And academics and like, just said too. Like, when we was at the platform, you're basically a bully. He said academics said right? verbatim. That's that's a bully. If we, we look at it from like that's a bully. Let me cook, huh? If you look at it yeah. from an aspect of nigga, we the new kids on the block. And you're the, uh, the OG rep. Uh -huh. You're a bully. You're a bully, for sure. In life, you can't bully us. But on this podcast and shit, you've been here longer. And, nigga, you're the big dog on the block. You're using that as your leverage. I'm the big... I've been here. You guys still don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do this. Okay, well, show us what happened with this funk with a nigga that's, that you respect. What happens? You get Bow cooked. Down. You get cooked. Or you go quiet. Yep. Or you go in hiding. You don't stream. You don't show up to your shows. You don't do all that. Like, nigga, so, you know... That's all you need to know about that. But just know, nigga, like, these niggas, we're going to get better as we go. <laughs> we're going to learn how to properly do this shit. We're going to get better with words. We're going to be... But right now, we niggas transitioning from shit. Like, right. th this is homie conversation right here. This ain't motherfucking uh, wake up, nine to five, clock in, clock out. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just the homies pulling up, having a good time, and nigga inspiring the culture, bro. That's it. Hey, you know that, what I'm saying? So, and that nigga academic said verbatim, he said when we was over at that platform, he said, Cub was the worst... Addition of the shit. He was the worst part of it. Nigga ain't say nothing about that. You get what I'm saying? He's still the worst because nigga over here talking about <laughs> some crazy shit while he got guests. And I. You yeah, know. But, but that's what could do though. Yeah. Let's, let's next topic. Yeah, uh, fuck niggas, don't, niggas don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, 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 but yeah, but that, I just wanted to say. I, I, I just wanted to say that though. I just don't like niggas taking jabs at the homies though. Yeah, but I mean like. I know, I know, you, I know you don't give a fuck. I just know, don't. I don't. Know, I don't nah, but Hove, you also. You new to this shit too, so you yeah. learning as you go. Yeah. You just looking at like nigga getting at my homie like that, or my homie. Right. You get what I'm saying? You gonna ride for me regardless. Yeah, fact. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of niggas that's not on camera looking at us like nigga, what, nigga, what, what's going on? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And they don't, <clears throat> they don't understand the concept of us doing this shit. You get what I'm saying? And the yeah. podcasting shit and the streaming shit. So yeah. like the the way that I feel about shit six months ago ain't the same way I feel about right. shit now. Right, nigga. You have fun with this shit. Let's keep doing this shit. Let's keep getting these supporters. Let's keep running these fucking numbers up, and let's keep get let's get cracking. I don't give a fuck what a nigga got to say about me, nigga. I'm living nice. We living good. <clears throat> Our families is living good. We chilling. You feel me? That's right. And it's only getting better. Niggas ain't taking no steps back. We taking steps forward. You so right. it doesn't right. matter what a nigga say, bro. A nigga will always have an opinion about you. A nigga will always say you not doing this, bro. I see comments now that used to make me mad. I look at that shit now and laugh. Ha ha. Oh, fact. You fact. get what I'm saying? I just don't like ha -ha, the, the you, fair. You salty. I just don't like the fair weather shit. If we, if I'm going to call you a homie, I can't sit in the room and a nigga going in on you. That's just me. You know, I know niggas is different. Times is different. But look, look, I've sat in, I've sat in the room when niggas said all type of shit. And I've said, that's my nigga. I don't fuck with that. You feel me? But I'm still at the platform. Does ain't that none, make me a less loyal nigga? Ain't none of them niggas said that. No, I'm just telling you. Does that make me a less loyal nigga? Because no. I'd have been in the same position. I mean, but you different. Though. You said you don't fuck with that. Ain't nobody stood up and say, hey, I don't, I don't fuck with this. You expect, I'm, 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 do you expect somebody to? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not Do you, do you I'm feel not like somebody it. is that much of a homie up there? With, you feel yeah. like that's that much of a homie up there where they're going to tell their boss, like, nigga, I'm not doing it. I'm Lose their job over somebody over here. Who's that much of a homie? How many times have you seen Brick Baby and AD together? You, that's your big homie. Nah, my big homie. I mean, that's, 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 I'm saying, no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm yeah, talking AD. No, yeah. And that's I, ain't, I ain't never seen him together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It goes back to what I always say to AD, and when they was over there calling each other brother and shit, I'm like, nah, nigga. 
These niggas ain't your brothers. It's business. Niggas mm -hmm. use that name so loosely. Oh, that's the homie, Facts. right? Is it the mm -hmm. homie? Yeah. What is your definition of a homie? Oh, we're cool in passing. We're casual. That's not yeah. your homie. Yeah. I fuck with bro. I ain't the homie, but everybody call each other the homie nowadays. Right. But at the end of the day, every nigga over there, uh, nigga, if it get down, they're going to fight with their homies mm -hmm. versus our homies if it's on some fighting shit. But let's not talk fighting because nobody wants to fight, right? All right, no. cool. So let's just talk, nigga, this podcasting, right? So he got to ride with his camp. If that's who you're over there with, guess what? I got to ride with these motherfuckers. That's what loyalty is, cuz. Like, I'm over here nigga, with community, nigga. So if any nigga say something about community, I'm in the room, even if, even if that's the homie. Facts. Because I signed up for this. All right. Nigga, I'm from Lance Hanna Block. So I don't give a fuck who it is. Even if you're the homie, you dissing the hood, nigga, I'm on you. Mm hmm You know what I'm saying? Right. You right. It's loyalty to what you what you signed up for, cuz. So I get it. But at the same time, it's like, nigga, I don't expect no nigga to be like, let me get out the room. and Because yeah. hey, it's like, these niggas ain't fucking breaking bread together and hanging out with each other and all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, them niggas ain't real homies. It ain't them homies. Niggas, them niggas ain't real It's just, homies. nigga, we know each other. We right. cool. We casual. Them was your co-workers, AD. That's what they were. Them was your co-workers. <laughs> they weren't your homies. Stop saying they're your homies. They're your ex-co-workers. No, he ain't gonna never stop saying that. Yeah, nah. those are those no, your ex-co-workers. Brothers, dude. cousins, best friends, he's gonna do whatever. Yeah, but I still he's swear. He's the president, cuz. Hey, right. like hey. not, not up there. Just know. No. <laughs> just know. He's gonna, he gonna be that president. Yeah. That's the homie. That's my brother. Right. Just know that motherfucker gonna switch around like. <laughs> Ah, no, I can't look, cuz. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm telling you, cuz, I got the outlook on this shit. I'll be like, bro, this shit is all funny now, cuz, cuz, like. It's funny. We, I, listen, I came in the same way. Look mm -hmm. at it like you. Yeah. Like, on some, like, nigga, hold on. Niggas is on some, nigga, what's happening? Let's get it. Nigga. And they, niggas oh, ain't on it. You don't know how to use words. He's threatening. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And it's like, you know what, cuz, I'm not even going to give it that energy. Let's play the game how they play it, and let's see what happens. And then it becomes like, let's use words. Now it's like, does it say? Yeah. <laughs> like shit. Uh, they don't know how to talk. Like, nah, you can't just say that, my boy. Right. We know how to talk. Fact. But you do gotta understand it's like, nigga, we're not doing we're not we're from different worlds, bro. So like that speech, how he said, Oh, T Rail, T Rail didn't say nothing. I gave twenty minutes and I killed him. T Rail gave forty minutes and said nothing. No, nigga, the thing is you were talking analytics and numbers and all that. T Rail was talking passion. Mm -hmm. He was talking nigga from a real nigga from that was real nigga shit. Yep. I don't fuck with you, nigga. You's a bitch. You disgusting. Blah blah blah. I was real nigga shit. You talking about all oh, your numbers this month fell down. Boo boo. So it's two different worlds. So in T Rail, where he where he was coming from, he won. Yeah. Where Adam was coming from, he won because he was talking analytics and numbers. But nigga, it, it's like who's doing that? We're not sitting going back and forth talking about views and numbers and shit. No, and academics said that too. He know said that shit's unseasoned. He yeah. said that shit is unseasoned. He said, listen, y'all niggas from the hood. Y'all can just clown a nigga. Yeah, like that's mm -hmm. not you how feel we me? we don't talk about shit in the hood yeah. about numbers and views. Yeah, hell no. Nah, nah, nigga. That. Niggas, where we said, come we from, is just happy to be in the room. Right. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're here now, cuz. You, talk, you, talk, you, talk, you talking about is we, we we doing something right, obviously. But. We're here now. We're fire starters. Nigga, we starting fire in this podcast world shit. We know what we about on some street shit. We don't got to talk about it and prove that, because, nigga, y'all going to say we don't know how to use words. So it's like, we ain't got to worry about it. We know what we going to do. We know what we about. Nigga, we know what we going to do in this podcast shit. And that's all that matters, cuz. Ride with us, nigga. Or collide with us. That's all it, it is. is. Just ride with us or collide with us. Yeah. So, nigga, at the end of the day, let go of that ego and pride, squash all the little beefs, and nigga, move on. If it ain't about nothing but but dick swinging, like, nope, you know, pause, pause. but if, if, that's, <laughs> that's really what, what it is. Shit is. Yeah, that's, that's, it is what it is. Yeah. Like, y'all, a lot look, of people involved. Y'all the little homies. Y'all mm -hmm. little homies, nigga, and I'm better than y'all, and that's it. But you see, like, <laughs> the avalanche effect of it, though. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's making boys out everybody there else involved. Who like, nigga, it don't got to be that, bro. Just, hey, listen, because everybody don't know how to. It's going to be a homie from our side who's going to crash out. Facts. Yep. When you're saying, oh, I dropped the address to my store. Nigga, it's going to be a homie that's going to pull up. Don't don't play like niggas ain't got homies. We ain't got, like, we ain't got nothing to do with right. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it it's may gonna not happen. Be, it may not be the faces that you see on the goddamn computer It's not going to be the faces on the screen because we got shit to lose, else. bro. Right. But it's a lot of our homies, you know what I'm saying? I hate to say it, but nigga... They ain't got shit to lose. They down nigga, to crash out. Even some fans. Not saying the homies are in our umbrella, yeah. but you know what I mean. Even some fans, but, bro. They're invested into this shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you don't never know, man. Another thing academics said, too, West Coast hip hop is failing because of West Coast media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot, of niggas don't wanna, a lot of niggas don't want to go over there. Mm -hmm. So, AD, this is your time to tell niggas to come over here. Nigga, nigga, bring niggas I'm, over I'm here. just saying, everybody from the West Coast, you trying to get your shit out. I you don't want to fuck yeah. with them over there. 
Nigga, you got Ace Boys, you got Community, you got, you know what I'm saying, uh, back on Fig, you got Fig Community World News, y'all can come to my nigga, it's open for y'all, you know what I'm saying, fuck them over there, come over here, we fuck with y'all. But see, look, I, I, I just talked about this the other day, right? I was saying, somebody like our little homie Siete, right? Mm-hmm. I said if Siete wanted to go over there and use that platform to further his shit, I wouldn't be mad at him. Yeah, I told him to go over there. Because it's business. You get what I'm saying? I'm not going to be mad at somebody making a business decision because of, like like Pun said, niggas ain't right-hand men. Niggas ain't everyday homies, my nigga. Niggas may be cool with each other. Niggas may have a, a certain type of relationship. But if it's something, you got to remove that out of the, the equation. If it's a good mm-hmm. business... I want my little homie to go over there, nigga, get your interview. Use that shit up, nigga, then you come over here. Then you do that shit. They go to the next place. I ain't got to like you to do business with you. And I learned that now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, fact. So it's not even the fact that, hey, if you don't like them over there, come over here. It's nigga, everybody come over here. Man, that's just like back in When you think about going to the West Coast, don't just think about going there. Think about coming over here, too. And let's see who has the better interview. Let's see who feels comfortable and wants to come back. Let's see who is like, hey, nigga, tell they homies, hey, when you come over there, you got to come over there, too. That's what this is about. Just, just like back in the day, when you see a nigga album come out, you see a nigga on BET. You the rollouts. On, you see him on 106 in Park. Come you on. see him on TRL. Back. You hear him on motherfucking uh, 92.3. You hear him on Power 106. The same thing. You can go over there. We know it's just an interview. It ain't nothing personal. It, you know, go ahead, do your thing, but we know... We know where it's at. You know what I'm saying? CFA, but, we already talked to CFA. And, 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 and I feel at. like if the energy of all of us is, oh, nigga, it's fuck that over there, we putting the wrong energy into building our shit up the way we want to build it. We want to build our shit, nigga. Hey, look, our shit dope as fuck. Nigga, fuck everybody. That's damn you get near what I'm saying? That, that's damn near where it is, though, for West Coast hip hop is fucked over but there. But that's what I'm saying, though. Streets is talking. Nigga, fuck that. It's about, nigga, what are we going to do to stand above everybody, bro. I don't give a fuck about that over there. You feel me? That shit is done. Niggas ain't going back. You feel me? And nobody's going back over there. There ain't no reunion. It ain't none of that, nigga. The shit is done. Change is here. Niggas just got to live with that shit. You feel me? What are we doing now that's going to solidify us? Because now we got to put up the numbers. We got to do the content. We got to come with the fresh ideas. We got to sit there as a unit, make this shit dope, and better than everywhere. If it's not about that, I don't want to talk about this shit a year from now, yeah, two years amen. from now, three years from now. Amen. Because I hear we that. holding on to the bullshit. Amen. So no, we just reacting. Let's, we let's, just reacting. Let's get to... this shit cracking to where niggas can't deny us for nothing. Fact. Let's get these bigger brand deals. Let's get these. Let's let's get these TV shows and these commercials. Let's do all that. You hear what I'm saying? Let's work on you starting to stream on time. Shut up, bitch! You yeah. on stream Let's talk time. about that. How about you? Was Mr. an hour President late with today? Your fucking positive speech hey, right now. Hey, you Start was an hour late today, you fat ass nigga. You wasn't even cooking <laughs> over there in the I'm food corner, nigga. nigga. When we pre-recorded, shut up, nigga. Doesn't matter, nigga. <laughs> we're supposed to film at fucking nine. We're pre-recorded. It's an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> fat ass nigga, you hungry? I'm hungry too, nigga. Yeah, I'm tired of your long ass. Speech. Yeah, but so but, what, nigga? I'm talking. But like. Like I said, I didn't want to be long you about that shit. We gonna work. We gonna work though. You said we gonna I'm putting work. You, to hey. sleep? you said I'm open to putting you to sleep. Thank you. You open two with speeches this week. Oh, your I'm speech was two. trash this week. What, what speech? Your president on the speech news? you gave on the news. Uh, yeah, I can tell you're hurting. I can tell you. Hey, everybody think differently. Sucks. Yeah, go look at the comments. Go see what the people think. I don't care what your fat ass think. Shit everybody's sucks. rocking with it. <laughs> everybody's <laughs> rocking with it. Your speech. Um, I'm not even here to what entertain. I'm, I'm not here to entertain I'm going to kill this. No, well, I, listen, I didn't get no speech. If the people, I haven't gave a speech if all the week. people like my speech, then I'm with the people. I don't care about your fat ass. I haven't so gave a speech all week. So you go ahead and, I'm keep, out of speeches. and keep making empty threats, you I'm out of speeches. How about yeah. that? I'm out of speeches. All right. So what you want to do? Nothing. I haven't made, I haven't so made any threats. shut the fuck up and listen to my speeches, you fat I haven't made no threats. The only way I made a threat is you. I ain't made no threat. Uh, this whole time you said you would go up to the building and you would do this. You ain't doing shit. I didn't say that. You what don't ever made a threat. When Pull up one time I ever made a threat. Oh, they're going to put up a million oh. times. No. Yes, they a, threat they is, a threat is saying what I will do. They're going to pull up a million times. Not what will happen if something happens. That's not a threat. Nigga. A threat is like when I see you, I'm slapping shit out of you. You say this shit threat. the most times. I'm just saying that. When I you, see you, that's what's going to happen. That's a, that's now, called, if I say I'm going to pull up the ball and I'm going to whoop your ass, that's a threat. a threat. It's an indirect. I think you I think you throw a lot of indirect threats around. Yeah, yeah. More than anybody. Yeah. 
Because all your fat ass do is sit there. Yeah, I, I make the most noise out of anybody in this room, nigga, when, when we outside. Or That's it, not it, true. All right. You don't know that. Put me in the room. You don't know that. Put all three of us in the room because I will what? tear somebody over before anybody. You think so? Yeah, because I just me. I'm dark. Cause so me I'm and Hope gonna tear some shit up. Y'all gonna be chilling. We're I'm not gonna, gonna be something. chilling. I'm gonna find something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, a, he, a woman. He gonna... <laughs> <laughs> woman. I'm gonna find. You something. don't know that though. I know that. No, you don't. I will find something. Because any time that we didn't know me. Any time that we've been in the room and it got cracking, nigga, I was right there. And about you. got cracking. I'm, so a, I'm the reason it's gonna crack. Yeah, nigga. But guess nigga, what? I'm anytime we've been in the room, you didn't kick it off the last time. Kick off what? You didn't kick it off the last time. What's the last time? You didn't kick it off. What Somebody else about? kicked it off. What's While the last time? What's the last time? You didn't kick it off. I'm what not gonna talk about it. You didn't kick it off though. Somebody else kicked it off. I, 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 and I got cracking. Are you no, 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 I know you didn't crack it off. I didn't about that time. You didn't crack it off. Nigga, that was over. What? You didn't crack it off. Hey. But do you know what? How you it even, didn't you crack it off. Stemmed, how to, how to, you didn't crack you know it off. You know how the light got on, cuz. You may have put the stems on, You know how the light got there. on, cuz. You didn't crack it don't off. Don't incriminate. That's what I said. You didn't yeah. crack it off. You know how the light got on, cuz, though. You didn't crack it off. Yeah, okay. I got right to action. No, you did. I did it? No. You we, came later. I didn't come later. You came I was right there, I was right there, nigga. was done. You came out there. He was, you came out there. He was a pancake. <laughs> he was already a pancake when you walked up. <laughs> the D wasn't done. He was already a pancake when you walked up. Point of the matter is, you didn't crack it off, nigga. So shut the fuck uh, up. Hey, man, it's your word versus the real word. Right. Hey, Dizzle, how we ending this Thanksgiving stream? Uh, this like this, fat like a <laughs> no, turkey. I didn't do that. No, shit. This ain't the energy to go out. Yeah, man. No, that's cool. We just talking shit. Yeah, I know. We do no, this man. shit all day. This is funny. That's cool. You know, cause, I like this. You know, this, cause scared cause hey. over there. <laughs> you know, cause scared comes over there. For sure, for sure. <laughs> I love this energy. That's still your daddy. Ooh, that's still your. Uh, that's still your daddy. That's still your uncle. That's still your daddy. That's still your uncle. <laughs> You've been hating on the nigga from day one. I don't gotta hate. Fat ass. We gonna end like that, nigga. Happy Thanksgiving to all yeah. you motherfuckers. Happy Thanksgiving. Tune in to Ace Boys Worldwide. Motherfucking tomorrow. Are you saying happy Thanksgiving to everybody? Post game pull up tomorrow morning.